Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. I hope you're doing great. Today, we're gonna take a look at how to use the ATEM Mini Pro right here and use the on-air button up at the top and to send your stream to YouTube. But before we dive into that, do me a favor. If you like this kind of content and you appreciate it, give a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, Kenneth Russell Tech, but let's jump right into it. So in the software control that we have here, so here's our software control. Um, on the side here, on the side of it, you'll see a couple different palettes. And on the far right one, it's called output. Click on output, and you may have to untoggle these top two, or this top one here, live stream. And you'll see right now it's off. And then underneath here, there's platform. And defaulted in here is Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. I'm gonna make another video on how to have other platforms as well. But then you've got um, primary and secondary. You don't have to worry about that. And then there's this thing called a stream key. Now a stream key, basically think of it this way, is like your ATEM is, is sending a signal to something and at the end of that signal is a key that's unlocking it to say, yes, let me in and let me distribute this. That stream key is super, super important because if anybody gets a hold of that stream key right there, then they will be able to stream on your YouTube account without you knowing it. So make sure that you have that under lock and key. I'm going to, you'll see mine here, I'm gonna reset mine at the end of this video so you won't be able to use this particular stream key if somebody wanted to try to use mine, but that's really important. Um, do not let that, that information out. Anyway, that being said, so here in the, uh, uh, here on the program, uh, the ATM control program is that. Now let's jump in here. This is my YouTube channel and I'll show you where to find that stream key. So if you go up to the top corner here and you click on the, uh, the little icon there of your channel and go to YouTube Studio. In YouTube Studio, um, actually you don't even have to go to YouTube Studio to do it, but you can just go up here to the top um, at any time in YouTube and click Create. And then we're gonna go to Go Live, okay? This is gonna take us to our, our live page where we can, we can immediately go live to all this stuff. So, um, but before we show how to go live, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this stream key right here. So in this section right here, that is where your stream key is at. So if I make this little this little eyeball here, I can see the stream key, and then it's got a nice little copy button right here. So we're gonna copy that right there. So that is copied to us, and then we're gonna go back to our ATEM software control, and I'm going to go in here and I'm gonna paste, let me just select all here, and I'm gonna paste that in here. So now I have that stream key pasted up there at the top, and what that's gonna do is, is now when I hit on air, it's going to send a signal to uh, YouTube saying, yeah, let me in. Now, before we do that, um, I'm gonna show you a couple things here. There is a way to, to schedule a, a stream, which sometimes is better. If you click on this little icon here and you schedule a stream, um, then you can, you can kind of pre-put in all the information and all that kind of stuff, and you can still go live as you wanted to. So um, let me just go in here. I'm gonna put test stream. Um, and then I'm gonna put this as uh, unlisted, uh, just so that the stream is is uh, not going out to the public. I can add a description in here if I wanted to. And then I can go in here and I can tell what time I want to do it. Now, uh, YouTube is great because it basically lets you do it at any time. Facebook is different. You have to be set this up 10 minutes ahead of time, but YouTube lets you do it right off the bat. Um, and uh, I'm not gonna put up a thumbnail or anything, but right now is where you would you would put in your thumbnail for that. <clears throat> Um, and just upload uh, that ahead of time. You can do all your age restriction stuff, all that kind of stuff. And then I'm gonna hit create stream, okay? Um, and also on there, there's the, uh, I could monetize it as well. I can do it right here. I'll just, I'm not gonna have this video up for a long time, but we'll go ahead and do the monetization. Uh, it's none of those things. And here we go. So uh, now if I click on test stream, 
it takes me back into this uh, this setup here. So I can see all this information. If I ever wanted to change this information, I just go up to edit here and I can change the description. Um, I can change the, the title. I can go in. I can even change the thumbnail here if I wanted to do that. Put it on a playlist, all of that. This is why I like to re I recommend doing the go live or doing the setting up the stream as a setting it up as a um, a scheduled event rather than just going straight going live because it lets you kind of do a lot of the back end stuff ahead of time. So um, back here in the uh, the 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 software control or the the on the YouTube side, you can see right here. It has uh, no data. It's, it says no data, and it's basically looking for that stream key. So it's it's like opened up, you know, it's, it's listening for somebody to start putting the key in and turning it. That stream key. So uh, let's go go back to um, actual the actual ATEM software, and I'm going to kind of do this where we can see both of these more or less at the same time. Uh, that way you can. You can kind of see how how quickly everything responds. So right here, um, I've got all this set up, and I'm going to just hit on air. Uh, in fact, I, I, you know what? I'm going to do it down here. I'm going to hit the on air button right over here in the corner, and it's going to do the the exact same thing. So when I hit on air here, then we're going to go, and you can see that the on air button started flashing up here, and then over here on YouTube, it is going to start looking for this stream. <clears throat> Give it a second and the stream was going to pop up here. You'll see it. Um, there you go. It populated and that's that's what's happening. We're, we're, we can see our stream right now um, and we're we're good to go. So uh, no matter you know how right now it's good to go live and up at the top it's got a button that says go live. So, so if I hit this button right now then I would be going live. I would be streaming out to the internet. So that's the first way to do it. Um, and that, that's kind of the, the way that I recommend to do it. But I'm going to actually go back out. And uh, let's see. Let's just go back out. And I'm going to create another uh, live here. I wonder if this is going to let me do it because I've already set up the stream. I think it will. Um, yeah, right here. Okay, duplicate. I'm going to change this in the dashboard. I'm sorry, it's not letting me do uh, do two things. Uh, sorry, about that guys. Let me let me go back to YouTube Studio, and uh, I'm going to delete this stream that I just set up because it is not letting me do two at the same time. Yep, I'm going to delete that forever. And by the way, this is where your stream is going to be as well. When you go to your videos, it's got the upload right here. Those are your normal videos you've got. And then it's got also live right here. So you, those are the, the two ways to, to see that. All your live stuff is in here. And it's still deleting that. Okay. Uh, as soon as this deletes, we're going to go back. Um, I wanted to point out too on here um, that the that this a lot of people have asked well how come when i hit on air it doesn't automatically go to youtube setting it up um well it it it, it can go it is going to youtube setup it's on the youtube side whether you want it to go straight to streaming or not so let me go back up here and see if it'll let me uh do this now if i go up to um go live maybe it'll let me do a live stream here Okay, so yeah, it is. On the left-hand side here, oh, I'm going to hit off. Oh, hit off. There we go. I turned it off on the, uh, the uh, ATEM. Up on the left-hand side here, Sarah, left-hand side, um, you can see it's got this little stream button right here. And as soon as I hit the stream button down on whether it's using it on the on air here or whether I use it in the software control whenever I hit that it is going to send this send to YouTube and immediately you're going to start going live so uh, I'm going to edit this where this is going to be a unlisted video and that way it's not going out to the interwebs but um, Let's try this here. So watch, watch us do this now. We'll kind of do the same thing. 
if I go over here this time, I'm going to I'm going to hit it over on the side. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sorry, it's not seeing it as well there. This time I'm going to hit on air right now, and then you'll see it go over here. And as soon as this reads it, it now you can notice up at the top here. It says in stream right off the bat and it's streaming. You saw it, it populate up there, but it says end stream right off the bat. Now, the reason why I did that is because you were set up on stream instead of setting up on the manage where you have, you're setting up a live stream. So if you want it to be where you can just have that already, you know, uh, set up, you can hit it where um, as soon as you hit on air, you're live just like that. But it's important to note that you have to be within the YouTube world in order to, to make sure that everything is, in fact, going live. I hope that makes sense because there are sometimes people uh, that will say, I, you know, I hit on air and then, you know, I'm not streaming anywhere. Like, well, you have to tell YouTube to be looking for that stream key. So um, it, is, it is important to do that. But like I said. If anybody has that stream key, they can stream to your YouTube channel. So make sure you keep that under lock and key. It's the first thing I'm going to do when I get done with this video. So uh, hopefully that was helpful to you, uh, being able to, uh, to to see both of these. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, end this stream right here. So I'm ending the stream, and I'll say, yep, I'm going to end it. And one thing cool, I'll just kind of throw this in here that, that uh, YouTube does. It's pretty cool is if you uh, say you just got done with the stream and you were having <clears throat> um, like maybe I, I waited a couple minutes before the stream populated with people and I, you know, just kind of was hanging out and chatting and then I really started the content of the stream. Uh, YouTube has a really cool thing that you can do, which is edit it. And I'll make a separate video about that. But on here, you can actually go in here and edit the video and cut off the front portion of that. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now, but it actually is very helpful. We use this at our church where we live stream our, um, our worship and then we have the message, but then we like to have a video of just the message that people can watch as well. And so we'll go in there and cut off everything except the beginning, uh, up to the beginning of the message and right after the close of the, of the uh, service. Um, and then it, it creates another video on YouTube that's shorter. And so that's that's a great way to do that. So, you know, for example, if I was to do a live stream here, I could, uh, you know, answer questions and all that, but I could cut off the beginning and end of things. Anyway, hopefully that's helpful to you. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over here and I'm going to hit off air over here and it's going to stop sending that stream key. And then... Um, we're good to go. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Again, if you like this kind of content and this was uh, beneficial to you, do me a favor and thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share it. All that kind of business. Anyway, Kenneth Russell out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.